Hi fifth graders, how are you doing today? I am really excited to share with you um, one of my favorite SEL lessons for transitioning into sixth grade. One of the most common questions is, how do I open my locker? So when you go to sixth grade, you are going to use what's called a combination lock. So on each locker is something that looks like this. Okay, this is a combination lock. And so a combination is you're going to get three numbers that you have to remember in a specific order in order for this to open. It's kind of a cool secret game, right? Um, and so you only should know your numbers. You do not share these numbers with anybody else. It's kind of top secret. Even your best, 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 best friend, do not share your locker combination. And that's just pr to protect you and to protect your things. Now, if there's a teacher or a student helper, um, like when you first get to junior high, they are more than happy to help you. And so they will need to know your, your number, but be very, very careful. And you might want to um, write it down in someplace special, okay? So this is actually my lock from high school. And I used to go to Elk Grove High School, so some of you may be there one day. So I still have my lock to this day. All right. This is the combination that we will be learning and using. Okay, so every lock has its own combination. So this one is 37, 23, and 1. Okay, that'll be very important to know here soon. The other thing you need to know is how, what clockwise and counterclockwise mean. Okay, because when we do the combination, you have to turn it a certain way for each of the numbers. Okay, so clockwise is if you were to look at a clock, okay, and the clock um, goes like this, right? That is clockwise, so you're turning this way, okay? Counterclockwise would be going the opposite direction, so you would be turning this way. So you might want to just for a moment put your hand out right, as if you're holding on to a lock, and go clock, counterclock, clockwise, counterclockwise, okay, because, um, yeah, it can get kind of confusing, and that's okay. Again, people will be there to help you. All right, so let's try this. Step one, you have to scramble, which means like move your lock just a few times randomly. I, go, I do about three. What this does is it kind of, it resets the lock, okay? So about three times and then you're good to start. The first number is 37. So I would be looking here and I see that there's this red arrow which tells me what number it's on. So right now, if I'm looking here, it says I'm on number 13. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, okay? That's not the number I need. I need 37. So I'm going to go here and go clockwise to 37. 37. Because it's right on 35, 6, 7. Okay? Then my second number is 23. This is the tricky one. So now we have to go counterclockwise go past the number, so we have to go past 23 one time, only one time, and then go to the official 23. So here's what that looks like. So now I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go counterclockwise. There's 23, I don't stop. I have to go past 23 one time only. And then I'm gonna find it officially. 23. Okay. Then the last number is 1. The last one you're going to go clockwise until you get to the number. So now clockwise 
until I get to number one. Now, if we've done it correctly, we should be able to open up our combination lock. So let's hope for the best. One, two, three. Okay, yes, we did it. All right, so very important also, once you're done in your locker, you've put your stuff in and you're on your way to your next class, you need to scramble your lock again. Because if you don't, it stays open sometimes and people can get in your things. You do not want that. So scramble, 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 and be back on your way to your next period, okay? So your class period, sometimes you have many that you have to go back and forth to and to get to your lockers. So you need to kind of plan ahead and know what you need to put in and take out, okay? So again, when you get to junior high, People will be there and they're happy to help you and feel free if you have any questions to just ask, right? Everybody's there to help you. We want you to have the best opportunity at school, okay? Uh, be well and have a great rest of your day.